I am at Potter Newton Park this morning for Potter Newton Park Run's 79th event. It's a bit of a cold one today. Um, and it's been wet, so the floor's a bit slippy. We'll see how it goes. Marathon only six days ago. Legs are a bit tired, but might see how I can do today. Morning, welcome to um, Potter Newton Park and Potter Newton Park Run. It's our event number 79. My name's Mike, I'm your uh, run director today. So uh, listen up carefully to the brief, please. And we're going to do one big clap at the end. We'll, we'll really do it this week, we won't have any claps through. <laughs> the course is just three laps, as you know, or just short of three laps, and we finish up there. We've got an uneven bit at the top of the course, which we call the hexagon path, where it cuts through the, uh, through the trees. Sort of plastic matting, that's really slippy and there's some really uneven bits, particularly at the end of that section. And then the bit that runs across the front of the mansion, the tarmac's really uneven, so please do be careful. Uh, please make full use of all the space around you. We're still in the middle of the pandemic. Infection rates are really high, actually, so please do be careful. So, any children under the age of 11 with us today? No? One in a buggy. You must stay within an arm's reach, but I think by definition that's going to happen. So uh, we might have some dogs with us, so just one dog per participant. Please keep your dog on a short lead right round the course. Do we have any people doing park run for the first ever time? Yes, we do. No clapping, but well oh. done with clapping at the end. Anybody visiting Potter Newton for the first time? I think we do have some. Quite a lot. Okay, and anybody who has walked, jogged, or cycled here today, normally with plenty of those. Thank you. So, uh, and a special mention to Dave Casher, who's one of our regulars, and I think it's the first time we've had a milestone announcement. It's Dave's 50th park run. Yay! Okay, now we are allowed one more applause actually for all the volunteers today. <laughs> Thank you, volunteers! We're all set. Three, two, one, go! Just on this start straight, there's often a massive puddle, so <laughs> just come onto the grass for this bit. Save my little toes. <laughs> it's such a hilly park run. <laughs> Might have picked the wrong one for an effort. <sighs> Straight up this hill and my legs are <laughs> saying no. <laughs> What goes up must come down, so really enjoying this lovely downhill on the far side of the park. Thank you, Marshalls! So you have to enjoy that downhill because you come straight into another big uphill, which is the finish straight. We've got two more laps to do, but definitely a tough finish. 
Thank you so much, volunteers. Thank you. Thank you. And this next downhill is the steepest of the lot. And there's a 90 degree corner at the bottom of it, so oh, you have to go steady on this one. So I've just seen Al, he started off really fast, I think he's second now. It is a tough course. Just coming onto the hexagonal path now that they mentioned in the run brief. Thank you Marshall. So, a little bit uneven here. Maybe I should look down instead of at the camera. <laughs> Front runner just came flying past, so Al must be not too far behind. Today. Oh God, Al, you're doing really well. I thought I'd bring Al somewhere today that he'd really like, because he loves hilly courses, but he's just had a cold, so I, <laughs> I think he's probably not that impressed with me now. <laughs> Looks like he's having a tough run. Thank you, Coney Corner Marshalls. <laughs> I thought it was coming in now. <laughs> I wouldn't get away with it. Thank you guys. Well done. Thank you, well done. Come on. <laughs> Yay, thank you. Thank you so much. That would be the dream to go into the finish now. <laughs> One more lap. One more hilly lap. And then I'm done. My legs know about that marathon. <laughs> Maybe it was an error choosing a hilly course but I need this for my peat index so uh, yeah for those other geeky park runners who know about the running challenges and the peat index I didn't check if I needed 79 for the Wilson index so I'll have to have a look fingers crossed I needed it the last lap definitely won't be sad not to do this muddy wet bit again not in the right shoes for this splish flush third lap and suddenly this hill feels a lot bigger than it did on the last lap and the lap before that. Hard work. Thank you so much. Well done. I love that when the front runners are like jogging past you on their cool down faster than you can run. That is inspiration right there. We can dream. <laughs> Thank you, Tail. Thank you. Thank you, Marshalls. I absolutely love that they've called this Coney Corner. <laughs> A corner with lots of cones. <laughs> so this is the tough bit, the uphill finish. Oh, who thought of this? <laughs> it actually does make sense because it's close to the corner of the park, close to the cafes and things, but it's hard. Thank you. Oh, thank you, timers. Oh, oh. Thank you so much. Oh. That finish, oh my goodness. Was that? Number 80, just had a look. Oh, I think I need a breather before I scan. I've just spotted Topless Al. How did you get on Topless Al? Um, that was hard, definitely hard. <laughs> it always is hard, so. I thought you liked hills. I always put all in and um, yeah, that killed me pretty much. <laughs> what were you, second? Second, yeah. No oh. chance whatever, I'd have to keep up with that guy. Yeah, he was flying. I know, I, it was like, 
quite short compared to me, but um, and I said to him afterwards, I said it was like watching a cartoon character, you know, running. Like when they run off a cliff and then the legs are still going. So, yeah. <laughs> well, well done. So this parkrun has an amazing community feel um, and I've been chatting so much I haven't scanned yet. So I just felt like after that massive uphill finish that I needed to cool down a bit before I could go over to the scanners. So I'm just going to get scanned now. Hello scanner, Hello. position 80. Thank you very much. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> I've scanned, I did remember. <laughs> and that was Potter Newton Park Run. Hilly, tough, but really beautiful and an amazing community feel. The team are just packing up behind me. One addition though, Potter Newton Park Run used to be a dog free event, um, but now they allow dogs. One dog per runner on a short lead. So that's a really great addition. So it was nice to see a few dogs out there on course. And yeah, it seems to be a great rule change. So everyone seems really happy. <laughs> My marathon legs were less than impressed with the hills. <laughs> um, but I think I probably just need a little bit more time to recover. Anyway, I'll see you on the next running adventure.